around the 70s with Concrete Parks, Campbell, Winchester. This is home Campbell uh, near San Jose, Winchester Ski Park. And once they closed that down, they had a backyard ramp up there. That's when ramps came in. Hanging out with the Bowling Gate crew. Got involved with all the street skiing with Tommy Guerrero and the rest of the boys. And actually been on the warp tour for many years. Has the longest running signature shoe from Van Shoes. How about a huge round of applause for living legend Steve Caballero! Yeah, that was way back in 1984, over 23 years ago. This guy unveiled the McTwist and changed skateboarding forever with spin tricks getting upside down. How about a round of applause for Mike McGill, one of the members of the original Bones Brigade. Dominating competition, always up in the top 10, most time in the top 5 in the 80s. But he always had to battle against Hawk, Hassoy, and Miller, so it was tough to get up on. Here we go, one more time with a high air master from back in the day, Tony Magnuson. I remember him doing 10 and 12 foot airs out there at the Texas Shut Up and Ski Ramp in Houston. And he told me that night he did the highest air of his life, 17 foot air on the mega ramp. How about a round of applause for Tony Magnuson? 44 years old, that guy did a set. But right now it looks like today he's just gonna kinda cruise, he doesn't wanna hurt himself, but he's out here to put on a show for you guys. Look at that laid back slash! He's got the tail end of it. This man needs no introduction. Where's my Tony Hawk fans out there? Make some noise for the Hawk. Come in there. This guy has done so much for skating. When they mentioned the X Games in 95, he came on and, and is the spokesperson for skateboarding. He's what helped help make it acceptable worldwide. How about a round of applause for Tony Hawk? <laughs> Street dirt pools done well. And this guy, the master of disaster, always on edge. I love to watch Dwayne Rod because you never know what he's got up his sleeve. Plus, he's wearing a white beater. Life interesting. Oh, look at Tabby getting the street onto the 5-0 off the ledge on the street. And the front side rolling. Yeah, Tabby. Rock shuffle. That's a Mickey Alba. So where's Mickey Alba? He should be out here. Where's Mickey and Steve Alba? There's some Legends of Vert. This is the Legends of Vert. And these guys, they've been doing it forever. Dominators in the 80s when skateboarding really took off. High airs. Crazy new tricks are being invented daily by these cats. How about a round of applause for Chris Miller? He's been one of our guest host announcers along with Tony Hawk for many years here at the X Games. And we're stoked to have him representing our sport because this guy knows what it's all about. Speed and style, it's Chris Miller. Uh, we do a contest every year of the Vance Pro Tech Pool Party in May. Every one of these guys gets to come out of the woodwork and find it out in a concrete pool with Donald Cook, just like you did It's a very exciting competition. Now this is a close to 30 minute jam session for the Legends. 21 minutes left, so about 9 minutes down, or 8 and a half minutes down so far. 30 minute jam session, so we're underway right here at Skateboarding for Legends. Kevin Staub up and riding right now. Kevin Staub always has some kind of fancy colors on. Lavender helmet, funny green socks, that's what he's famous for. The rest of his blacks are there. Right? <laughs> so they were asking me how I could find Kevin Staub. I got to put a purple helmet. Yeah, they put some colors. <laughs> some colorful ball dogs out there. Yeah, Kevin, looking good out there. Right from Birdhouse, Quicksilver, Fury Trucks. Done so much for skateboarding, this guy has. Countless wins. Invented so many tricks. He's got a book out there, reading the book, and find all the history about it. Occupation, skateboarder. Occupation, skateboarder. Over 16 X Games medals. That must be cool when you travel to different countries with your passport. And they're like, what's your occupation? We've got uh, just under 20 minutes left in our session. We've got just under 20 minutes, and uh, it is a jam format. You can use guys nice and fresh, keep going all the way around. But this is really how they prefer to skate. You know, Cavalier used to have a ramp in his backyard. And up there in San Jose, and right near there, San Leandro, was Joe Lopes' ramp. That's where the invention of the jam session came about. 
was Joe Lopes' friends. That's kind of like, hey, just get together your friends and skate. Oh, look at this. Invert, rollout, revert on the extension. <laughs> Clean Peters always finds the biggest, gnarliest part of the ramp. One of his signature tricks, no one else out there doing the invert. Sure, a master of disaster. Definitely one of the, the most punk rock skater in the world. Always has been Dwayne Peters. Once again, the guy who organized this event is Steve Set. Big props out to him for bringing all the boys together to have a good time. That's what it's all about. Like you said, they're bringing them all together, skating with the buddies, having a good time. The only thing we're missing is a barbecue on the top of that bird round. Where's Steve Edwards? Steve Edwards pops out the barbecue, these big events like that, flipping the burgers and dogs. Look at this guy, Chris Miller, so smooth, so stylish. Also one of the dominators from the comedy pool yeah. house today. We were up here announcing the gap. Oh, look at that backside blowing up on the extension. Back to that nice one, Miller. His son is that. Oh, he's so okay. Give it up for Miller. I'm going for all the legends out here. Come on. Oh, I don't think they can hear that. One more time. Let's make some noise for all the legends out here. Come on. So I'm talking about some of the kids out saying, who's this? Dad's uh, checking in and saying, hey, you know, this guy is escaping with that guy. It's uh, rare to see live these days. How about a round of applause for the live skating of Tony Hawk right now? That the McTwist, he's so solid, so consistent, he landed the many, many tricks in the five right there. Oh, he took it over, but Cap kept it going, he's still going strong. Same with Dwayne, Dwayne and Cap were up right about the same time, late 70s. Dwayne Peter was the master, he used to win the big events. But things were moving quick back in those days, you're only on top for a year or two. Started out with Tony Alva and Steve Olsen. Why these guys have no ramps? Okay, here we go, Stedham's got the red carpet. See if you can get something going here. Big alley to view there. Stand up place really well just last week at the Soul Bowl down in Huntington. Originally out of Las Vegas. Was out there a year for many. Now, pop a tall cold one. Let's watch Chris Miller do his thing. Look at that. The clean windshield wiper. I love that. The crossbow they call it. Such a stylish way to grab your board. Oh, and even on the backside crossbow. This guy just oozing with style. Everything looks just so easy the way he rides. That's, that's when you know you're good. Good to see our feet folks just join us. This is the Legends of Oh! Now, what the heck is he doing? Oh! Oh! Oh my lord. Now he's going to make it. Yeah! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see what I'm saying? Skateboarders are some of the toughest guys on the planet. Make some noise for skateboarders right now. Make sure you're not. Just trying to head the on to this wild topic. That's exciting stuff. Here we go. Doubles. Cap Mero. T Mag. Cap going underneath the slider. Man, T Mag on the top. What do you say? Over and under was a big way to do the doubles back in the day. Working out the routine, much like we did back in the X Games doubles. Back when we used to uh, put that going. Finger flipping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, showing you how we did it before you actually did it. Five oh, that was hot. 
It's this great board control there. Bill are making it look sweet. Oh, the sugar cane, one of my favorite tricks. Give it up for the ever smooth ultra stylish Chris Miller. Yeah, that's what I'm here.